Today, we'll be talking with Liz Trosper. She's an artist, educator, writer, and curator living and working in Dallas. She has an MFA from UT Dallas and was a grad resident at Central Track, the UT Dallas Artist Residency from 2013 to 2015. Her work can currently be seen in Texas Women, a New History of Abstract Art at the San Antonio Museum of Art. Liz, welcome to Flash Dire Video Check-Ins. We're just checking in with artists that we know and uh, Texas artists, and we want to know how you're doing. Um, how are things with you, and how are things down there? We're good. Uh, you know, uh, just trying to keep my students' spirits up and stay away from, you know, other folks that I don't have to interact with as much as possible so I don't get them sick. Um, but it's good. I mean, it's nice to kind of be with my son. He's three and a half and it's the magic years. So we're having, we're having some fun and frustrating times, but it's really, it's, it's cool to be with them, you know, so I'm just trying to enjoy that. Yeah. Uh, but you're teaching, um, T. Uh, UNT now, so uh, Design One, which is like a whole beast. It's many, many sections of uh, students because it's a big program. So uh, I'm teaching Design One and I'm doing curriculum redesign for their new foundations. So uh, so I can do all that remotely. Uh, redesigning the course for so many students over a week uh, was interesting, but. Uh, yeah, what do? resources does the school have or uh, how have they um, helped in the transition? Is it just sort of like, put it on your computer and can you contact <laughs> 50 students at once? Do you do it all at once? How, how does so, it work? So in design one, like in the spring, it's, the, so the design one, uh, as it is now is like the first, first, first thing they take. And so the heavy semester is fall, but even so in spring, we have 150 students. And so they're subdivided into um, groups of 20 for their labs. And so we're trying to do, um, you know, video lab check-ins. And, you know, I was really optimistic uh, and embracing like, oh, we'll just, you know, hop on the video chat and work together just like we would in the classroom, but it kind of hasn't worked out that way. Uh, yeah. you know, people feel like they need to be attentive to the screen and, and it's much more like a, a business meeting kind of situation. So I kind of check in with them. Uh, so at first we had like half of the lab meeting and then uh, the other half uh, for like an hour or so. And then I'm, I'm getting a lot of uh, communication from other teachers and they're just like right now people I think just need empathy they need to be encouraged they need need a lot of uh, guidance but it's different kind of guidance so yeah this is not the ideal learning platform <laughs> <laughs> we meet for a reason we are in in a building for a reason because yeah. that interaction is vital um yeah what's going on how are you i mean how studio work art what's happening <laughs> i know your show texas women is still up at the san antonio museum of art congratulations mm -hmm. on that by the way thank you yeah i think hopefully they'll be able to extend it and people will still get to go and see it um and i'm not sure i need to check in with um suzanne weaver and lana metter who are the curators and see if they're doing any um kind of digital tours they're, or virtual tours yeah they actually did one for our glass tire um five minute tours so yeah. it's up on on glass tire right now i'm i'm going through some of those because i'm going stir crazy <laughs> yeah <laughs> I, mean, I miss openings and seeing people um and um the buzz and energy of it keeps you going um but i'm also thinking you know i have questions for them and for you about like you know besides 
the tours, which I actually really value, um, like how can we start, I mean, like if we're stuck for months on end, like how can we start showing in uh, new and different ways? Like I've been making PDFs, uh, art PDFs that you yeah. can, yeah, you can go on my website. There's uh, one that I made is like, I don't know, 20 pages or something. And you can, you know, print it. And then I have some sculptural instructions for how to, how to mess with it. But yeah. I think we're stuck with um, online, <laughs> but for a while, for a while. But I, I think one way of mitigating that um, is having more sort of uh, publicly visible um, works of art. It doesn't have to be sculpture or installation. It could be, um, <laughs> I don't know, uh, galleries with big front windows could put work in the window and like a uh, drive through <laughs> drive through drive through drive by um yeah of works although people may congregate in front of the window and that's not ideal but that's not we need like a poking stick like you your turns <laughs> over go <laughs> yeah but i'm also thinking like um uh, I, t I called code enforcement <laughs> i was like hey can i put like you know one of those signs that you poke in the ground and do that and they're like well like what like permanently i was like no just like <laughs> post an artwork and they're like oh we don't care don't bother us about that <laughs> we got oh, bigger perfect. Fish to fry. yeah i was like oh good so <laughs> so is there any new work in your studio are you even trying yeah. to make anything are you what are you thinking about um uh, i mean i'm try i'm still trying to engage with materials i don't have should take my background off i don't know if i can or if i'm going to screw something up uh, no you do it go for it i we want to see what's in your studio let me take this off um so uh i'm gonna pick you up maybe yeah 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 do it uh, and uh Hold on, let me make sure I don't mess you guys mess you up. Um, yeah. but I'm trying to like en engage with materials, but then again, I have like um, a lot of screen-based work. So I'm doing these animation animations to you. Some of them are on my website, but like you can kind of see I'm making these sculptural oh, installations. Yeah, yeah, I can see it. Yeah. Um, but then of course, like the tangle of cores and everything has always been something I'm interested in. So making series of those and then um, making some weird squiggly things. Yeah, what are those made <laughs> of? Um, so I'm, I'm kind of futzing around with different ways to make them. Um, I was playing with air dry clay, silicone, cornstarch and glue, which has actually been one of the more successful ones. Um, but I've been putting uh weird stuff together <laughs> like uh so that these guys are like cornstarch extrusion which it's the same stuff um that they use i just make it myself okay um, okay it's a uh, so like a starch extrusion printer uses basically exactly that um and so i've been playing around with different ways to to do that and I've, I've got mechanical extruders but um pretty much the material i'm making myself so yeah and having fun and then uh you know the typical sort of like conversation between uh you know painting in the image the material in the image i've been doing lots of little scans and things like that uh in stacks, pictures of silicone and paint, um, and like making a mess. I'm kind of on top of myself, and it's. I wish I could like show you like pristine. No, I. <laughs> I understand the process as being just sort of like evolving, and that's. Yeah, I would be concerned if your studio was all organized and resolved. <laughs> I need to like I really want to do uh, a mural and seeing your background I'm really motivated to be honest so, uh, but yeah I mean I I feel disoriented like I'm easily distracted kind of like because I'm interested in, in 
a lot of stuff, too many things maybe, um, uh, but that's just not, doesn't seem to ever be going away because I've tried to focus. <laughs> yeah, I, I have, yeah, some, I have some feelings about that because I, I think the space that we need to make art in is now like overwhelmed and inundated and flooded with um, everything else because the only access we have to the world is the online access and that's not healthy yeah yeah <laughs> watch this video but that's not really healthy <laughs> well i mean it's one way but i mean it's also different to like be talking to you in real time which is is special and i think it's bringing a different relationship to screens which is more you know an idea that it's not disembodied and there is connection to be had versus just like you know airing like through, a passive you know, opinions or whatever yeah. like in social media uh interactions that have come before this but i mean i've been taking my laptop um, and sitting on my front steps and just like hollering at people <laughs> to go by like oh your dog's cute like because <laughs> it's just like you know i i don't you know you and and i noticed people like people used to try to like pretend like they wouldn't see you if they're walking by, but now they're like, Ooh, I need to talk to this person. <laughs> person. Yeah. <laughs> Wear a mask and don't talk too closely, but definitely. <laughs> yeah. I have a green bandana from UNT that I'm just like, you know, gonna have to wear. I don't know. I don't know. I just maybe have a fatalistic view of it. And you, you know, you have, kids out in the world I don't yeah. know how <laughs> no, no, it's so worrisome to not have everyone in the same place um my daughter's in Berkeley and my other daughter's in um Austin and yeah they're just they're both uh dense small cities so mm -hmm. yeah it's yeah. hard to not worry well, they're 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 young. <laughs> yeah. So hopefully that means they'll be okay. But I don't know. I don't know. We're in, yeah. I don't yeah. We we can only hope that we're all gonna come out the other side of this. But yeah. Well, uh, I, hope, I hope so. Sorry, I didn't mean to like <laughs> bring that up. On that but note, I keep thinking about you know like I'm I'm thinking about more uh like improvised practices too because we're, i'm having to you know try to help my students learn something yeah uh, and if i can't give them access to like very specific tools i can still give them access to ways of thinking about things and tackling um tackling ideas and asking questions um and not wanting to just necessarily like do things the way they're supposed to be done which is like can be dangerous right now um but uh still trying to push push limits question things and i loved what you post everything will never be the same and i hope it doesn't go back i don't i hope i the worst thing i can hope for right now is that when we come out of this we just go back to business as usual. Right, it is uh, one of those uh, seismic shifts that give us the opportunity to uh, have bold thinking on how society is functioning. So hopefully uh, society and artists included <clears throat> find a way to um, capitalize or uh, take advantage of this rare opportunity. Yeah. Uh, yeah, speaking of <laughs> rare opportunities, it is a rare opportunity to see your face and uh, check in with you. See you soon. Thanks, Christopher. See you soon. You guys stay safe, stay well, and I look forward to giving you a big hug whenever this the curve flattens. The curve will flatten. Uh, take care, and um, we will talk with you soon.